Okay, so let's go ahead and put this in the right form and start with the completing the square process. And so we're going to line up the x's. I'm going to start by factoring out the 49, and that will leave us with x squared plus, oh, let's see, what is that, 6, or no, it will be minus <clears throat> 6x. And then we'll put our plus blank. And then here on the y's, this will be a little tricky, but we need to factor out um, a negative 25. And so let's see, that'll leave us with y squared. And then that's going to turn into a plus 4y right there. And then plus blank. And then if we want to, we can go ahead and move the 884 to the other side. So it would become a positive 884. And then I'm also going to have to add, you know, whatever I add to both sides, whatever I add over here in a moment to complete the square process. <clears throat> so let's see. So what we're going to do here is we'll go ahead and take half a negative 6 and square it, which would be a 9, right? But really, that's not 9. It's 9 times 49, which is, I think, 400 and four. 441, let me see, 49 times 9, 41, carry the 8, 36, four, yeah, 441. Okay, so I'm going to have to add 441 right here, and then over here, half of 4 is 2, and then squared is 4, and then 4 times, now you got to be careful because that's a minus 25, so that's really negative 100, so I'm actually going to have to subtract 100 from the other side to keep balance and so let me erase this so i have room to continue the process okay and so now it's time to kind of clean these two parts up right here so let's see we're gonna have 49 and then this is going to factor into x minus 3 squared then minus 25 and then this is going to be y plus 2 squared. Um, and then on the other side, let's see. Um, oh boy, what do we got here? Let's see. I believe it's going to be 12. Let me, I'm just going to grab my calculator. I don't want to make a mistake. Okay, so we should end up with uh, 1,225. So 1,225. Um, I'm going to go back and look at what you had real quick. Okay, I can see what, what you did here. What you did was you subtracted the 441 and added the 100 instead. Um, so just remember what you do to one side, you do to the other side. So if uh, the 49 times 9, I'm basically that's adding 441 to the left side. So I have to add it over here. Here it was really subtracting, so I have to subtract it. So that must be kind of um, how you ended up with that number. Let's go ahead and just finish this though. So uh, we're going to divide both sides by 1225, 1225, um, <clears throat> and so let's see, um, 49 into 1225, let me see, let me pull up my calculator, so 49 divided by 1225 and if you have one of these calculators I'm going to show you a nice little feature here so I got 0.04 but I really you know I, I don't want decimals so if I press um, math enter enter it'll go ahead and convert it to a fraction for me so math and then enter enter by the way this calculator you should be able to find it probably online for free um, to where you could use something similar to this I know on the exam um, if you don't have a, if you don't have a physical one in front of you, um, you can use Desmos, but I'm not sure exactly how that would work on there. But let's see, so that's going to turn into a 25 there when it reduces, so that cancels, that cancels to a 25. And then, let's see, then on the other one, I believe, um, let's see what that reduces to. So we're going to do 25 divided by um, 1225. It'll probably be 36 or something like that. Let's see. Press enter, and then I have to press math. 
convert to a fraction. Oh, 49, 49. So, um, so that will reduce to a 49 there. So that will reduce right there to a 49. And then obviously this will reduce to a 1. And from there, um, you can find the center and all the key uh, points to help you uh, with graphing the hyperbola. So if you want any further explanation, just let me know. I'll be happy to continue.